Proudly we hail, one of radio's outstanding dramatic half hours, starring Lee Tracy, and presented transcribed by your Army and your Air Force. From Radio City, New York, here is your star and host on Proudly We Hail, the distinguished Broadway stage, screen, and radio star, Lee Tracy. Thank you, Kenneth Banghart, and hello, everyone. Welcome again to Proudly We Hail. Our play is about the sea, the story of a ship and the men who sail the border on an ill-fated voyage. I'll return as O'Meara, first mate, in just a moment after these words of importance from Ken. Be a volunteer. The United States Army and the United States Air Force need young men and women now more than ever before. Visit your nearest Army and Air Force recruiting station and get all the details. Make tomorrow's decision today. And now with your star, Lee Tracy, in the role of Dan O'Meara, your Army and your Air Force present the proudly we hail production of The Dark Sea. From the beginning, there have been some things that have never changed. One of these is the sea, and another, the men who go down to the sea in ships. This is the story of some of those men, of their ship, and of the sea itself. All right, Perkins, I'll just take him over the watch. How's the skipper? I ain't heard anything. Fog's thicker. Yeah, I guess so. Good night to be ashore, even in this hole. Think the skipper will pull through, Mike? Well, I wouldn't be knowing, lad. That sawbones is up there with him now. I saw the O'Mara bring him aboard. He looked worried. Nate's a good man, too. If the skipper cashes in, he'll be skipper. I should think so, unless the firm sends someone down to take over. I can't see him doing that. Nate's got his master's papers. Heard him say so once. I'm going aft. Want to get some coffee? All right, lad. Let me know should there be any news. I'll do that, Mike. Take it easy. We'll have him ready to go in ten minutes. I'm afraid we don't have an ambulance at the hospital. Uh, it's not exactly civilized, you know. Use my car for that sort of thing. You think it's safe to move him? Right now, Mr. O'Malley, it's a gamble whatever we do. Too bad we didn't have a doctor on board. I was going to ask you why you didn't. I thought it was prescribed by law. It is. He jumped ship at Tobago. Oh. Didn't have time to pick up another. <laughs> How would you like to take his place? <laughs> Thanks, no. Uh, I'm very happy here. If you'll get the captain ready, Mr. Romero, I'll return presently. Okay, Doc. Oh, uh, watch your step there. Mr. Romero, sir. Hmm? Oh, yeah, Mike. How's this, Skipper, sir? Not good, Mike. We're going to move him to the hospital here, what there is of it. Well, do you think, uh, do you think that... I don't know, Mike. I'm just the first mate, not God. Aye, sir. That you, Dan? Yeah, Skipper. In a good life, Dan, fair weather and foul. I'm dropping my hook. You're going to be all right, Skipper. Sure I am, Dan. Going to be fine. You'll be Skipper now. Tell the men they're a good crew. The best. Team and all. Skipper, save your strength. We're going to take you to the hospital. No, you're not, Danny Lyon. This is my ship, and this is where I stay. Then I... I have no will for have nothing to leave and no one to leave anything to. I want to have my sex and my books and anything else in this cabin you've a mind to. I've got only... One last wish, lad. A sailorman's wish. Anything you want, Skipper. Bury me at sea, Dan. That's all I ask. Uh, 
Come in. Oh, Mr. O'Meara. So you go down with the doctor. Didn't know you'd come back. How was he? Perkins, looks like you've been promoted from second to first. Skipper's dead. Spark, send this message right away. Uh, Captain John Crawford died tonight this port. Standing by for further orders. Sign that O'Meara first mate. Hey, now, Mr. O'Meara, cheer up. Don't bother me, Pinky. Oh, now, Mr. O'Meara. <laughs> or should I say Captain O'Meara? Oh, now, come on. Let's all drink to Captain O'Meara. <laughs> Will you shut up? It's not Captain anything, see? Best. They're flying a new skipper down here to take over. Now, will you... A get... new skipper? Uh, but you... Yeah, are... yeah, I know, I know, I know. Huh. I know they can find themselves a new first mate as soon as this voyage is done. Here. Buy yourself a bathtub full of rum. Busy. What do you want? I'm coming aboard. The business you got with Amira. What's your name? My name's Perkins. If it's any of your business, what's yours? Mr. Perkins, I want the first mate, and I want him fast. Tell him Captain Stone has come aboard. We clear this port in an hour. I'll see him in my cabin. Come in. So... Did I wake you, Mr. O'Mara? Ah, you're the new captain? I am. Would you like to see my papers, or will you take my word for it? Mr. O'Mara, let's understand each other right now. I knew your former skipper casually. I don't know how good a man he was, and I don't care. From what I've seen, I'd say this looks like a slack-run ship. And that isn't the kind of ship I run. I'll expect strict obedience from you and from the crew in turn. My orders will be obeyed. I make myself clear, Mr. O'Mara. Aye, you do. Let me remind you that I'm to be addressed as Captain Stone or Sir, whichever you choose. Now, your former captain died two days ago. Is that correct, O'Mara? Let me remind you, sir, that as first mate of this ship, I'm to be addressed as Mr. O'Mara. Mr. O'Mara, don't cross me. I assure you I've broken better men than you. Is it true, Mr. Romero, that your former captain died two days ago? It is, sir. What arrangements have you made, Mr. Romero, for the burial? It was his last wish, sir, that he be buried at sea. You mean his body's still on board this ship? Yes, sir. Well, get it off, Mr. Romero, and get it off fast. I want no bodies on board my ship. You'd not grant a dying man's wish, sir? I would if I could, Mr. Romero, but has anyone ever told you that there are laws of sanitation? Have the captain's body taken ashore and buried at once. We sail in an hour. You may go, Mr. Romero. I think there's one thing you better understand, sir. The crew thought a lot of the skipper. They know what his dying wish was. They intend to help carry it out. If you order the skipper's body taken ashore now, you'll be alone on this ship in five minutes. Have you heard of mutiny, Mr. O'Mara? I have, sir, but this ship is in port. If the crew walks off, it's not mutiny. They're just quitting their job. Right we all have. And you feel that out of sentiment they'll rot in this hole? I do, sir. Whichever way this turns out, Mr. O'Mara, I'll not forget it. Come in the crew aft. <laughs> All right, belay there. I'm Captain Stone, your new skipper. I've ordered Mr. O'Mara to have Captain Crawford's body taken ashore and buried before we clear port. He informs me that before such an order could be obeyed, you men would leave the ship. Is that true? Well, speak up. You there, how about you? Begging the captain's pardon. 
It was the skipper's lot. I know all that. I say we sail on the tide and we sail without the earthly remains of your late lamented master. I demand this for reasons of health. Now, who will sail with me? Those who sail under those conditions, step forward. So, it seems Mr. O'Mara was correct. All right. Captain Crawford will be dropped over the side as soon as we're outside this port. But remember this, all of you. Once at sea, any order I give that is not carried out will be considered mutiny. You've started off on the wrong foot with me, and before this voyage is done, I promise you, you'll have reason to regret it. All of you! I want all hands with their stations. We cast off at my command. Dismiss. Up. Hey, the glass been dropping all day. And who cares for a bit of a blow? Maybe will be washing the iron mighty nibs off his bridge. I don't know how O'Meara stands it. Leon. What about ourselves? Look at a slave driver he is. Captain yelling like he was a king. He can drink rum all the time. Uh, I'll be finding me another berth after this trip. Oh, I'd like to smash his head in, I would. No what you thought he was the wrong one. Why didn't they make no mirror, Skipper? Will you tell me that? <laughs> Why don't you write a letter to the owners thinking and ask them? All hands on deck! All hands on deck for fire drill! Oh. Now, I'll be a lot that. Calling a fire drill in the middle of the night with a gale making up. All hands on deck! Yeah, Perk. Getting nasty. Hurricane weather. Getting on the bridge. Captain's in his cabin getting drunk. Staying drunk. I don't know which. Third got the bridge. Then I think he's crazy. I got some less polite words. No, I mean it, Dan. I mean he's not in his right mind. You hear him talking to himself. So he's crazy. Can't understand the firm giving him a command like this is the finest they've got. The sea lion is, was a good ship. <laughs> he let it slip by mistake. His sister is married to one of the big boys. Then they're getting awful mean, then. They'll behave. They'll behave long as I tell them to. Oh, Mr. O'Mara, Park would like you in his sack right away. Tell Spike I'll be right there, Mike. Listen, Park. We've seen a lot of weather go by together. But don't let this guy get under your skin. He's not going to get under mine. But when we make push. I'm going to take him apart piece by piece. There'll be much left when everyone on this ship gets through with him. You wanted me, Spike? Mr. O'Mara, I've been receiving hurricane warnings all day. I sent him on to the captain, but we're still holding the same course. I just got a call in from San Cristobal. They say it's a real bad blow. If we don't change course soon, Mr. O'Mara, we'll be swept right into it. Where is she lying? Well, between here and, and here. Well, you can see from our Thanks, course... Thanks, Mark. I'll notify the captain at once. Right. You think you'll beat me, don't you? <laughs> you think you'll have me like you did Crawford. But you'll not. You'll not. I hate you, and I've always hated you. And I follow you to show you my head. The sea. The devil's in the sea. But I'm here. I'm captain of this ship. And you'll never take me. I'm sailor. What the devil do you want? Go away. I said go away. Sorry, sir. I thought you said come in. Oh, you did, did you? Get out of my cabin, Mr. O'Mara. We're headed right into a hurricane, sir. Huh? I'd like permission to change course to west southwest. Is that so, huh? A hurricane, you say, huh? And you'd like to change course to west southwest. What's the matter, Mr. O'Mara? Afraid of a little wind and sea? You love the sea, don't you, O'Mara? You shouldn't mind when it acts up. I don't love the sea, Mr. O'Mara. I hate it. It'll not be ordered by a swim. 
I'm the master here. Our course is steady as she goes. Change it one degree, then I'll have you and I. Now get out of here! Lee Tracy, starring in the role of Dan O'Mara, first mate, in the proudly we hail production of The Dark Sea, will return for the second act in just a moment. But first, I'd like to remind the young men and women of America that building up and maintaining the defenses of a nation isn't an easy job. It requires the full cooperation of everyone everywhere. You can do your part by joining the United States Army. You'll be helping yourself, too, because you'll receive some of the finest vocational training in a wide variety of fields. Yes, in the field for which you're best suited. So go to your nearest Army and Air Force recruiting station and find out these things for yourself. You can be of real service to your country at this crucial time. Join the United States Army today. You are listening to Proudly We Hail. And now with your star, Lee Tracy, in the role of Dan O'Mara, we present the second act of The Dark Sea. <laughs> Townsend, what's your course? A bit north or west, sir. Change course to west, southwest. Right, hey, sir. I best get Pinky here on the bridge. Hold her. Steady as she goes. Steady as she goes, sir. Engine room. Engine room. Mackenzie, this is O'Meara. How are things? What are you doing up there, Mount? If it gets much rougher, I'll have to make my fire. Hurricane, Mac. We're trying to head her out of it. Can you give me a couple of more knots? Uh, sure, if you want to lose the screw. Well, uh, give me what you can. Stand by. Aye, what else would it stand unless it was on my head? Take it! Take it! Get in here! It's up there. Get it! Give Mike a hand. Uh. The bridge. O'Meara here. Then we're taking heavy seats on the servant quarter. I know it. I'm trying to get out of this thing. I'm worried about the cargo on the boat. Hold. If it's just we'll have to turn turtle. How many men you got down there? First down there with all extra hands. Have them shovel as much of that stuff as they can to the starboard. They're hard at it now. Good. Keep me posted. I'll be here on the bridge. Hold it. Okay, I'm here. How is it, Lord? He's just been by Sid and Lee Kimber. You can feel the angle getting steeper. That last one nearly had us on our beam. What's the captain trying to do? Man's on the bridge. He was trying to get us out of it. The bridge. Get the men aft. We're taking water in the main hole. I want every pump to get man in action. Max, thank you, fires. We're going to try to ride her out. I wish it's not. What the going on here? I've headed her into the wind, Captain yeah. Stone. You ought to change course, but I gave orders not to. Is that correct, Mr. Ramirez? That is correct. Huh? I only wish I'd done it sooner. Set off this bridge. You're no longer first mate on the ship. I have your favorites for this. Helsman, put this ship back on the course. You out of your mind. Get out of here. Helsman, you heard me. Yes. Captain Stone, what do you want? Oh. What do you want me to do, Mr. Perkins? Come down there and bail for you? I'd like permission, sir, to close off the main boat. Hang at those pumps and leave the boat head doors alone. You men! Where the hell? Are you going to pay my orders? Get this ship back on a course. Here! Get out of the way! Hey, Mike! Come on, do it! to put her back on her course. Get those bulkhead doors closed. Get out of there. There. I think we're going to break up. You men take 
the captain below and get back to the after wheelhouse where a man is from there. Bridge is about ready to go. Snap to it. I'll take the wheel and you take over. All right. Copy. Yeah, we'll make it as fast as we can, Mr. O'Meara. Bridge can't take much more, Max. We'll hold it from aft. Aye, I'm having a bit of trouble. We got water in here and the pumps don't seem to be doing much. All right, Max. Let me know if it gets any worse. Well, what time of day is it, Mr. Bellagas? I want to see Mr. O'Meara. What? Well, we left him on the bridge, sir. We, we figured he was forward with you. What? The bridge was swept away. I haven't seen O'Meara. God rest you, sir. What's going on here, eh? What toys do you steer? Put her back on her course, I say. Just as they come. I command here. I'll have you all up for mutiny. Mr. Percy. I ask you forward where you belong. I came after to check, sir. Mr. O'Meara. Mr. O'Meara is no longer an officer. He struck me after him disobeying orders. That's a blinking lie. Huh? Who said that? I know you. I know all of you. Stop the listening. I see the look in your eyes. I'll have you all before a court of inquiry, if it's the last thing I do. Get out of here, Perkins. Get out of here, all of you. This is my ship, and I'll take her where I wish. I'm sorry, Captain. We need two men on the helm. Don't tell me what we need. Sir, I'd like to take a party on deck. Mr. O'Meara was on the bridge when that wave... The bridge is no longer there. I've been up there. <laughs> Everything is washed away. But I'll not be beaten. He'll not beat me. Nor will you. Just forward as I order. But Mr. O'Meara was on the bridge when the sea hit. Ah, you don't say. And now where is he? You think you'll find him on his ship? <laughs> Do you think you'll ever find him? <laughs> It saves him right. <laughs> Mr. Rarick, the sleep in the deep. <laughs> Not quite. Captain huh? Stone. Huh? Turn on the face of the huh? What is there, one? Did the sea reject you, Mr. Romero? It would seem so. What happened then? I went with the bridge, but I was lucky. Got washed down a companion way and not silly. First, Captain Stone isn't responsible for his actions. Huh? I want you to help put him where he won't get into any trouble. No, I'm with you. Uh, I won't ask you, men. We can handle it alone. Now, you come peaceably, Captain. No! Stay away from me! I'm the captain on this ship. Get out! He's got a gun. Stop him! You're not take me! My ship! My ship! Get him, take him! Stand for the sea! All of you! <laughs> captain! Come back! You fool! Hold on, Dan! Poor Blondie! He went over the side! The fool! The poor, mad fool. We'll make port in another hour. Took an awful beating, didn't he? Yeah. Look crazy, wasn't he, Dan? Mad as a hatter. What do you suppose did it? Who knows? The sea, maybe. Does that to some, I've heard. What did you tell the authorities? 
If it's agreeable what the crew will say he was lost when the bridge went, wouldn't leave his post. That's the least we can do for him. You're a good man, O'Malley. Yeah, I'm a dandy. <laughs> If the scene drove him crazy, why did he follow it? Why does a man follow a woman that's no good for him? Why does a man drink? He knows it'll make him a rummy. Why do you follow the sea perch? <laughs> because it's in your blood. Once it gets into your blood, you can never get it out. No matter whether you love it, hate it, fear it, Respect. That's the way it is. Yes. Mm. Well, call all hands forward, Bert. I'll have a word with them. Our star, Lee Tracy, will return in a moment with a word about next week's show. But first, a word to young men interested in all fields of electronics. Right up front with the fighting man is the communications man, trained and equipped by the United States Army. The man with the headphones is just as essential as the man with the gun, because someone has to guide the man with the gun to make up a fighting team. And the necessary guidance comes by radio and telephone. So if you're skilled in radio, radar, communications, and the like, you're needed now by the United States Army. You can serve your country to the best of your ability and at the same time learn about the most up-to-date equipment in your field by getting on the Army team. Find out about it today. Visit your nearest Army and Air Force recruiting station. Join the Army now. This has been another program on Proudly We Hail. Presented in cooperation with this station by your Army and your Air Force. Proudly we hail stars Lee Tracy and featured as Captain Stone was Joseph DeSantis. The Dark Sea was written by DeWitt Cup. The music was composed and conducted by John Guarneri. Proudly we hail is directed by Charles Wilkes. This is Kenneth Banghart speaking, and here again is your host and star, Lee Tracy. Next week, join me on an expedition into the Congo. A story of treachery and revenge. Our play will be The Interlopers. I'm sure you'll want to listen. Goodbye. <laughs>